Hi guys, this is chapter 21 and I am so excited to end the series because, I don't know, to heal with you, chapter 21, I lied. December 31 of 2020, 10 p.m., two hours before 2021. Shoya demanded Kate to write a New Year's resolution. The blonde rolled his eyes, irritated because of the distraction Shoya was from watching dinosaur documentaries. This is bogus. Uh, a sham, Shoya. This is a sham. No, it's not. You haven't even started to write anything down. Because I'll still be me next year. Okay, stop being a brat and write something down. I already did write something down. And also, you're the brat here. Really? Let me see. Shoya tried to steal the papers from Kay's grasp. Kay stood up from the floor together with his New Year's resolution. Hey! Stop it. But Kay! Shoya was pouting. Cute. Okay. I really want to see. It's honestly just me stating be myself. Swear? No. Okay. Shoya. Shoya stopped reaching up and looked wide eyed at Kay. His hands that were hanging in the air slowly dropped as his face made a weird look. Um, Shoyo? Shoyo was still making a weird face. There wasn't disgust or anything bad shown on it, but Kay couldn't tell what it was. Are you Kay? Yes, I am. Shoyo, what's wrong? Are you sure you're Kay? Yes. Do you have a fever? Shoyo, stop messing around. Is me teasing you really that weird? Oh. Okay, um. I'll go get food. Tsukishima got out of the room while Hinata was still in shock over Tsukishima not using a monotonous voice. He shook his head at the thought and soon found case paper on the mini kotatsu and immediately snatched it. Written across it in small letters was, Tell him and get it over with. Huh? He threw his body on Kay's bed and buried his face in the pillow in discontent. Blushing a light red once he remembered what happened on the bed the night before. Shoyo? I brought cake. Shoyo shut up from the pillow and faced Kay. Oh, uh, thanks. Why are you red? Shoyo immediately thought of an alibi because he sure as hell won't tell Kay how he remembered something he shouldn't know in the first place, granted that Kay thought he was asleep. So he did what he always does, babbling whatever came to mind. I was reading the story about a guy and during insertion his shoulders went red and like, I also turned red there like, ah! Sorry, just gave panicking. Understandable? I didn't see you read, though. Oh, I was reading at home and I kind of zoned out just now. I have a tendency to remember other things when I zone out. Didn't think you'd read porn, though. Shoyu now looked like a tomato. He didn't want to tell Kay about his actions, but now he thought he should have just told the truth. Oh, uh, haha. <laughs> Shoya rolled his eyes and puffed up his chest, pouting more than he did a while back. I'm 60, not a fucking kid like how Suga Senpai treats me. Yeah, I know. You kinda jumped me. 
rights. Okay? I don't want to leave your bed. Oh, no problem. Just open the drawer and pull out the table tray thingy for our breakfast in bed. Well, dinner in bed? It's nearly 11 p.m., Kay. That's like a midnight snack. Yeah, yeah. Why do you have this? I'm sometimes too lazy to move to eat. Sometimes? I'm not as enthusiastic as somebody when stuffing my face with food. Hey! Sorry. Uh. So Kishima cleared his throat and placed a strawberry shortcake and lemon pie carefully on the tray. Hinata shuffled in bed and sat up, eyeing the cake hungrily, Kay sitting behind him while taking a fork. You know what? Since it's New Year and you totally seemed out of sorts because of my teasing, should... should I tone it down? I mean, uh, like, down down. Figured you'd be ecstatic of my, um, improvement? Should I not? It's fine, I guess. Can I eat it? Yeah, sure. Okay, I meant the strawberry shortcake. Yeah, I said sure. Shoyo eyed Kay suspiciously and took a fork to slice some from the shortcake. Are you sure? Do I really look like I'm that greedy? Hey, you nearly punched Yamaguchi when he suddenly took a bite. He was your boyfriend then. A man can change. Your mom said you threatened Akitaru with a fork because he ate some from your share. Again, a man can change. Shoya shrugged his shoulders and took a bite from his fork. He moaned from the sweetness of the cake and the sourness of the fruit. Mm, this is... Heaven! Hmm. Sakishima snorted at the tangerine. Kay, though, had heat pulling at the bottom of his stomach. Mini! Shorty. Ugh. You're lucky your chefs bake you stuff this good always. Mom banned me from sweets because of that one time I only ate cake for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm guessing that's why you're always in a sugar rush. And here I thought you'd tone down the teasing. Kay reached out to shuffle orange locks and kept his hand there for self-indulgence. Hey, I'm still me. A man can't change. That was just a little teasing, Shoyo. Yeah, right. I'm guessing you'll tell him and get it over with will be when pigs fly. Kay knit his eyebrows and retreated his hand. He turned his body towards Shoyo and Shoyo also looked up at him because of the now foul mood. Shoyo Hey lovebirds, let's get drinking. Ten 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 mom I love. A drunken Akitaro had forced his way into the room while wobbling towards the two. He closed in on Kay and hugged him tight. Hey, get off! But the Toto, you called Troyo to yourself. Hmm? Huh? Come on, drink! Ugh. Sorry, Kay. Here, let me help. Tenma came in with a worried look and immediately took Akitaru, who was over the moon, to see his lover. Tenma nodded at Kay as an apology and dragged Akitaru out of the room. Shoyo broke out in giggles as Kay shivered from the hug. You should have seen your face, Kay. Ugh, grow up, will you? A man can change, but I'm still a boy. 
Kay shot Shoyo a glare and got up to disappear into his closet. Shoyo was still giggling at his reaction, saying he should have caught Kay's reaction on camera in between breaths. Kay came back wearing a jacket and much more thicker clothes. There were clothes draped on his arm too. Where are we going? My family launches fireworks, so rooftop and we're also going to be drunk. But Natsu? We usually start drinking at 3, but Akitero couldn't wait, it seems. Hmm, I see. Get dressed? Shoyo nodded eagerly and took the clothes from Kay. Desert left only half eaten for the rest of the year. So, about that resolution, hmm? Mm, yeah, I lied. What? If you were totally paying attention to me, you'd know I have my real New Year's resolution in my pocket. So what you saw was a joke. But I was paying attention! You're yeah, right. Kay was already at the door, opening it for Shoyo to come out. You coming? Shoya took hesitant steps out and Kay closed the door. But he said it was a lie, now he called it a joke? What should he tell and get it over with, anyway? Also... With him. To be continued, also I am sorry for the gaps, the pauses. I'm too tired to edit, I am so sorry guys.